In this demo, we will walk you through subsystem back-to-back -back testing using MathWorks VNV2 chains. Back-to-back -back testing is done to ensure the equivalence between model and its generated code. Coverage analysis is another aspect of back-to-back -back testing. Standards such as ISO 26262 and DO 254 recommend back-to-back -back testing. We would be using the subsystem role reference to demonstrate the workflow. The prerequisite for a subsystem to be eligible for subsystem back-to-back -back testing is that its code interface packaging should be either set to reusable or non-reusable function. The role reference subsystem already has some of the requirement-based test cases written in a test sequence harness. The equivalence test case leveraging existing requirement-based tests is defined in a simulating test file. We would be setting the coverage to MCDC for this specific test case. In the equivalence test case, in the simulation 1, we will set the simulation mode as normal. For simulation 2, we will be using the same harness and we will be setting the simulation mode as software in the loop. We also capture the equivalence criteria for the signal which needs to be compared in mill and sill runs. Once the test case is run from the civilian test manager, we can observe that the signals in the defined equivalence criteria have been passed. However, the structural coverage is not 100%. This implies the requirement based test cases are not sufficient to get 100% model and code coverage for the subsystem. To generate test cases for missing coverage, we would now be using Simulink Design Verifier. To do that, we select the respective coverage results and will click on Add Test Cases for Missing Coverage. This step will invoke SLDV for subsystem seal based test case generation. Once the test cases are generated, in the SLDV report, we can see that there is one unsatisfiable objective for the condition objectives associated with the relational operator block. This specific condition is not covered for true outcome. Here we can see that the input is compared to a parameter whose value is set to 0 and storage class is set to exported global. From Simulink Test Manager, we will now rerun the added subsystem cell based test cases and will visualize the coverage results. Once the test case execution is done, we can see that coverage metric is improved after adding test cases from SLDV. However, it is still not 100%. In the generated coverage report, we can see the SLDV reported unsatisfiable condition objective for the relational operator block is not covered for trim part. Parameter tuning can be performed to improve the structural coverage. Starting R22A, SLDV can automatically infer the parameters that can be tuned based on the generated code. The parameter associated with unsatisfiable objective, as shown previously, is tunable in the generated code. SLDV can automatically infer this and tune the parameter. To do this, we would be setting the SLDV parameter configuration as automatically infer parameter specification. Now we would be again navigating to coverage results in the Simulink Test Manager and will add tests for missing coverage with SLDV parameter tuning enabled. In the SLDV results, we can now see that all the code coverage objectives are satisfied. The parameter constraint section shows the parameter which is tuned and in the generated test case, we can observe the tuned value of the parameter. Now we again re-execute the simulating test case and once the test case is run, we can observe that 100% of code coverage is achieved for a specific subsystem. In the previous case, we were able to tune the parameter associated with the unsatisfiable objective. However, if the parameter is not tunable in the generated code, this objective can never be satisfied and would be a dead logic. 
we can justify the same using SLDV make filter API. This API is introduced in release 22A and takes model and SLDV data as inputs. Once filter is created, we can apply the same on the Simulink test case. We can observe the justified coverage. This would be highlighted in light blue color in the coverage results. The coverage report shows the justified objectives. Each and every step which we have shown in this demo can be automated using scripts. We will make these resources available to you. With this, we conclude this demonstration. Thanks for listening.